parents, they deal with children for a long time before a child is able to express love. And in fact, in the very beginning, you could make the opposite case. The child is so self-absorbed, selfish, showing all many bad qualities, and only seeing parents as food suppliers and slaves. But they're uh, lovingly they're they're dealing with the child in an affectionate way, despite the the absence of affection, any genuine affection in the child, knowing that the child has the capacity to express love and affection in time. On the example when Sanatana Goswami is feeling so um, distraught uh, about having uh, physical disease and Mahaprabhu embracing him and some of that going on Mahaprabhu it's just unthinkable and he's thinking I'm getting I came here for spiritual upliftment and I'm get I'm going to hell as a consequence of Mahaprabhu's affection for me. So he's thinking, maybe throw himself under the wheel of the rot of Jagannath. He's got to stop this somehow. That's when Mahabharu, Sanatana, Deho Tyage, Krishna Nahipai, you won't get Krishna by giving up the body. The body is just the outcome of the mind. Just by Cutting away the body doesn't get root, the root cause problem of material existence. It only compounds it. So he said, that won't get you Krishna. And they have different discussions. I mean, Mahaprabhu says different things. But one of the things he says, he talks about the mother taking care of a baby. The baby's pooping on the mother. And he said, and the mother taking it like, it's sandalwood paste. <laughs> he said, so Mahaprabhu, I mean, I'm just telling, like, this is the actual stuff that's in the books. It's from the mouth of Mahaprabhu, he says that. And he said, so, when I embrace you, it's like a mother with her, I just, there's no, no part of you that, repulses me. In fact, I enjoy every part of you. And that oozing from you to me is like, it says, chatusham, means sandalwood, a little camp, like even a very divine mixture. He's saying, that's how it smells to me. And that's when the verse comes that says, diksha kale bhakta kori atma samarpan. That when real diksha is there, atma samarpan, when you've given yourself over, like a baby to its mother, you've given you given yourself wholly over the Krishna. He said, "At that, atma sam, they're the same as me. That's how I see it. That's how Krishna sees it. That's why we have to be very careful about Vaishnava Parad, for whom Krishna has accepted." as his own, because they have potential, as Guru Maharaj says, adaptable. They have a potential to realize the greatest thing possible. And that is of is immeasurably valuable. So to give someone that opportunity is the ultimate generosity, magnanimity, mercy. Because they do have that capacity. They have the capacity to express Krishna Prem, of which nothing compares in value 